Hi there. Now this is a question based around the trapezium rule. What we've got is that we're given this equation here, y equals 5, all divided by x squared plus 1. And in the first part, we're asked to complete the table, giving the missing values of y to three decimal places. And that's for one mark. So if you'd like to just do that part first, give you a moment to pause the video if you haven't done it already. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, all we've got to do is just simply substitute x equals 1.5 into our equation here. And what you get out to three decimal places is 1.538. Okay, so now it goes on to say that the figure here shows the region R which is bounded by the curve with the equation y equals 5 all divided by x squared plus 1. The x-axis and the lines x equals 0 and x equals 3. And what we've got to do in part b then is to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from the table to find an approximate value for the area of R for four marks. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, for this one, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the trapezium rule. What we do is essentially we take our region R and we split it into strips. And in this particular example, those strips then are of width 0.5 and we've got one two three four five six strips and the trapezium rule then gives us an estimate for that area r and the trapezium rule just in case you've forgotten it is that that area underneath the graph is approximately then given by the width of a strip divided by two and then you do the first height that's this one here plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then plus the last height. Now those heights are the y values that you see in the table here. So when it comes then to working out that area, let's just come over here, we can say that the area okay, is approximately the same then as working out the width of a strip, the width of the strip then is 0.5. We divide that by 2, okay, and then we multiply this by the first height. Now the first height is the y value you get when x equals 0, and that is 5. You can see it clearly in the table anyway, so I'll put that in as 5. And then it's plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights, the y values, okay. So from the table, we can see that those middle heights are 4. And then you've got plus the 2.5. And the value we found, which was 1.538. And then you've got plus 1. And then plus 0 0.690. So we'll close the bracket off there. And now we have to plus the last height. And the last height was the y value when x equal 3, which was... 0.5 so plus 0.5 there let's close the bracket off and if you work this out the value you get is 6.239 okay now in part c we've got to use the answer that we found in part b 6.239 and find an approximate value to this integral, giving your answer to two decimal places for two marks. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for this integral, we can't work out the exact value. It's only going to be an approximate value if we use the answer to part B. Because We've got two terms here, the 4 and then the 5 divided by x squared plus 1. Now if we integrate 4 with respect to x, 
that's going to be 4x. So we can work out that value exactly. And that will be between the limits then of 0 and 3. But then as for the integral of 5 over x squared plus 1 between 0 and 3, well we've got an approximate value for that because it's represented by the area under the graph which we've approximated by this answer here using the trapezium rule. So all we've got to do is plus that value on 6.239. Now if you work out 4x between the limits 0 and 3, substitute 3 in, you've got 4 times 3 which is 12, and then you subtract 0 as it goes through there. So it's just going to give us 12 for that, and so we've got 12 plus the 6.239, and if we add those two values together, we end up with this equaling 18.239. And if we give it to two decimal places, then that's going to be equal to 18.24. And if I can squeeze in there, just put 2dp. Okay, two decimal places for short.